your boy Jamal, we we'll back in reviews from Heart, and today I got a C7 2018 Corvette Z06, the American supercar, courtesy of Martin Chevrolet down here in Torrance, California. Shout out to them, thank you guys so much, thank you so much, Lewis, for this opportunity, because I tell you right now, just like with the Ford Raptor, they don't let just anyone drive a Z06 or a Corvette in general, but I got, I got the best, the best! This is the best one America has to offer people, and I have it in my own hands. This is the first time I've ever even driven a car that's this fast. Ah, I've only did it one, one pull with this car, but man, woo! Let's jump in this bad boy and see what it's all about. So what's it like driving a 2017 C7 Z06 Corvette with a 3LZ package? It's amazing. Well, I got my boy Sammy right here from Martin Chevrolet. Once again, thank you guys so much. Check them out, please. They have a amazing sale going on right now with z06s especially 2017s and this is a 2018 but to be honest there's really not much of a difference between the 2008s and 2017s you kind of martin chevrolet down here in turns california you'll find a really good deal on them but like i said this you know what this view is about so let's go ahead and take this bad boy on the spin y'all hear that boy boy sam sam like there is no no bloatedness, no anything. This is honestly genuine, real reaction right here. And I I'll get, again, I just want to thank Martin Chevrolet so much for this opportunity. But boy, this is America's Ferrari. This is America's supercar. It is powered by a 6.2 liter LT4 supercharged V8 with a 1.7 liter Eden super, supercharger strapped on top of it, which produces 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. This is by far, without question, the fastest car I've ever had the privilege to drive. And just look how this bad boy is handling right now. Unfortunately, there is a Ford Flex in front of me. <laughs> uh, why is there a car in front of me? But More rage at his finest. <laughs> I, I, there's so much power in here. I just yeah. to be able to convey accurately how much fun this is. And you know, sometimes you have people, you know, telling you and describing to you why. You, why are you gonna do with all that power? Well, you don't need to use all 650 horsepower and, and torque all the time right, as you can see although we are in uh we're, we're in track mode right yeah we're in track yeah we're in track mode right now it's pretty tame it's pretty calm and it's handling these corners oh my god i would never have expected something to feel like this i know people are gonna are gonna hate me in the comments but from an american car this is the first time i've really driven and given american cars it's just due um but something like this is extraordinary to say the least there is something something about this car just exudes quality and just listen to that lt4 jesus christ man this thing is insane and i hope you guys see the view in uh this is actually like near rancho palo Verdes. shout out to rancho my rancho people that ocean in the background i'm not sure if you guys can see that but man this is sam this is insane too now I just let's just throw it out that your boy can drive but just look how effortless that was to do us just a little quick over overtake absolutely nothing at all like that's this goes this car goes so fast in the blink of an eye and it should and I've always been the person to say I love horsepower and don't get me wrong this is the most adrenaline pumping car I've ever driven God, look at those brakes. Look at those brakes. Controlled, calm. Boy, this car will get you into so much trouble. So, so fast. It's not even, man. I've never driven a car this fast before, but as you can see, it just hooks up. I don't know how this car puts this power to the ground like that, but God damn. Sam was hard, but like, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, let me see. Man, this thing. Amazing view coming up. Over overlooking. <laughs> but again, what I've always I've always respected Corvettes, but until the C7 generation, what I hated about the previous Corvettes was the fact that the interior was so lackluster compared to what the money you're paying for. But with this generation, the C7 Chevrolet has definitely made 
a complete 180 in the direction they were going and up the quality to reasonable standards. Like the interior in here is is honestly for the for the money and the horsepower you're getting immaculate. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, it's not the most luxurious Rolls Royce quality type interior, but for what you're getting, the horsepower, the the way this feels and how comfortable it is. Oh, so I'm in track mode and I'm not feeling like the car is beating me up or anything like that. It's just honestly super fun to drive. And it's so mind-numbingly fast. Like it's mind-blowing how fast this car is. It should honestly, it should be illegal. It should be, <laughs> it should be illegal how fast. engineering like this is I don't know what could possibly be better than this like for the money yes this isn't cheap this is not a, a cheap car by any means it's going right now for like around a hundred thousand dollars base price is eighty thousand dollars but at the same time at the very least I can confidently say with 100% honesty that if I were to buy this car I can justify paying that much money for this car because I can feel what it is this is a surgical precision made marvel of engineering that allows you to feel like you're michael schumacher in this car or um uh, hamilton or uh, whatever it doesn't matter it makes me feel like you're the best world, world class race car driver in this car honestly and like i said i consider myself a pretty decent driver i'm not gonna sit here like oh i'm better than anyone else or anything like that i know i know my way around a track or a thing or two and especially handling a car like this remember I'm just jumping into this for the first time, yet I already, I already feel, I don't feel scared, I don't feel overwhelmed, it just feels fun, it just feels like so much fun, and unfortunately, we, uh, you know, living in Southern California, within LA County, I'm stuck behind um, two sedans, and that's just, that's just life sometimes, I would, <laughs> I would love to be carving this this straight up for you guys right now but oh my god man the way that this car can make you feel i hope everyone that watches this video just understands and sees the joy in my face when i'm talking like this is this is hands down the best car i've ever driven there are there are a couple of close ones that in terms of feel but the way that the power that this car has the way it's able to put it to the ground and the way how it feels so nimble remember this has a curb with a 3500 pounds this is a very very light car yes it's only two doors but you have an extremely large trunk as well there is there is nothing you need to worry about in here everywhere like i got Alcantara tower on the mitts up here my hands there is no no movement whatsoever it's the perfect thickness for me to hold on to the feel and command of this this nuclear warhead of a vehicle honestly I, I just Sam today was the first time you've driven the Z06 as well right yes I have and how how would you describe that that first that first time you put your foot down it's obliterating the first the car is just once you step on it, the power is there. It's, it's so instant. Like that, I've never found a, because I'm so used to a turbo car. I've never really driven supercharged vehicles before. But there is no lapse in anything. It's so hungry. It's just ferocious. It wants to eat up all, every foot, every inch, every minuscule amount of road that is in front of it. And the moment you just, look how, look how instant that was. Look how instant that was. Traction's there. <laughs> I, I was, not even a full second, but it was just ready. Yes, it's in track mode, but god damn, man. Oh my god. This is, I. <laughs> it's a time bomb. It's, it's something that this car can get you into a lot of trouble. <laughs> but it's the good kind of trouble. Because I'll say it right now, any speeding ticket or whatever would be completely worth it because I can tell you right now, at the very least, you'd be having a hell of a lot of fun driving this. And as I am right now, even though I'm driving pretty mundane at this moment in time, it still feels fun. Because I feel like I'm in, I'm in like a very stilted cocoon 
that is just made for this. That's this is what this is for, and this is why the Corvette is heralded as America's best car. It's a it it honestly that's exactly honestly what it feels like, and it's crazy to me to think that usually when you think of high horsepower cars, you think of some sort of compromise. Now I'm not going to name any competitors, but some of the competitors that offer then you know near horsepower range, you're competing with weight and things of that nature. Something something large and bulbous and just not nimble. But in in here, what are you what are you compromising? It's a straight left. There is there is literally no compromise in this car and that's incredible to me yes it's only a two-seater but i mean have you guys seen the camaro you might as it might as well be a two-seater too like there's there's there those bastards are useless in, in a camaro in my personal opinion but like i said with the lack of two seats in there he got a decently large trunk like i don't know of any other supercar and yes i will say this this z06 is a supercar i don't care what anyone says this can keep up with the best and destroy the best of whatever manufacturer has to offer at the very least it will it just demands respect from any other car on the road no matter what you pull up in they may not have the prestige of your you know your italian flares and things of that nature but there is anyone that knows even the slightest ounce of cars knows that there is no disrespect in this car because you would get hurt really really easily your feelings would get hurt really really easily when it comes to this car but like i said with the um with the truck size with the lack of two seats in the back you have I don't know of any other supercar that can offer this much tangible space. Like you can fit uh, a lot of things back there. I'm not saying it's pack your golf bags and your, and your third suitcase, something like that. No, it's not that big. But there's, like I'm saying, what I'm trying to reiterate is you have so much power, so much class, so much nimbleness, so much mar engineering into this, into this vehicle. And I can't really think of any compromise one would reasonably have by driving this. I, I I honestly can't think of like I other than what the price? <laughs> that's the, that's the that's the only car I can honestly say that one hundred percent honestly the only car in this vehicle is the price. But at the end of the day, these are the kind of things that should motivate you so that you could have in life. Not everyone is not everyone can have some <laughs> Let me reiterate that. Everyone is capable of having something like this. But it's a matter of those who sacrifice everything and do what they need to do to look themselves in the mirror at the end of the day and say, am I doing enough so that I can reach where I want to and like to get to that point, a certain point, a certain level in life so they can have something like this. Or whatever else they want. That you could have that five bedroom house on top of the hills. You could have the Z06. Are you doing enough? I'm trying. I'm not the biggest, I'm not the best. But best believe I'm out here doing that work. Sam was Sam right here sees me doing it and all of that and everything else. I'm doing what I need to do so I can at the end of the day I can build towards something like this. Because I tell you right now, if you can afford this, hats off to you because anything in this range, especially this Z06, I don't know if there is a better car combination. I wouldn't buy a Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari can't do a burnout. <laughs> And be this reliable too? Mm -hmm. Come on, people. This is this is a Chevy. You go to take it, take it to any shop basically, and they can. Remember, this LT4 basically is it's a pushrod engine. This engine architecture has not changed for like the better part of the last 20 years. But as when I did my Camaro SS review in the very beginning, my very first video. Shout out to my brother Tony. Thank you so much for that opportunity. If it's not broken, don't fix it. True on that. And for, for my for my more budget minded people that can afford a Grand Sport, it's the same engine without a supercharger. So just slap a supercharger on that bad boy and you have the Z06. Since on the Odyssey there's more tangible when it comes to that, but more or less, that's that's what you're working with here. So this platform is so diverse and it it's made to where you can add certain how should I say details and aspects to it that can make it into whatever you want. You can make it faster than a Z06. Grand but at the end of the day, when you buy the six, what, what else do you have? Warranty. Warranty. You got 650 horsepower, 650 torque. Warranty. Suspension, brakes, ready. You guys, I know you guys are gonna see how good those brakes are, boy. Cause I tell you, <laughs> Woo! I was adrenaline pumping right there. I knew what I was doing though. Knew what I was doing. Knew what I was doing. <laughs> uh, but. Again, 
But again, shout out, shout out to my guys at um, at Martin Sh Chevrolet. If you guys ever need a vehicle, please, please hit up my guy sitting in the shotgun right here. His name is Samuel. Come visit me. I'm your guy. <laughs> I'll help you out. Get you a great deal. What's that? What's the address? It's gonna be Hawthorne Boulevard, um, Torrance. It's Martin Chevrolet dealership. Come and visit Samuel or any of other uh, salesmen. Um, we will be gladly to help you out with anything, uh, any concerns, any questions. Come and uh, visit us. And like I said, they're having yeah. really good specials on the 2017s. And I'm telling you, literally, there is no difference between a 2017 and 2018 Z06. Besides the year. Yep. There <laughs> there's no difference. And I'm telling you that. <laughs> so just take that into consideration. And like I said, really good deals. They don't have me a whole shirt. Oh, it's supposed to make a right or go straight? Uh, shit. Turn right. Turn right? Oh, okay. Oh, he's on me side. That's a little curve ready, you know what I mean? Just whatever breaks, I can't fix. So, you know, this is just gonna take that into consideration. But I'll definitely give you guys what you want. appreciate it because I know Joe you're the owner right remember this was um this is a collaborative effort from everyone I'm not gonna single anyone out <laughs> but like I said I I can't from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for this opportunity I never would have expected to to be able to do something like this so quickly but obviously you guys see something in me and all I can say is thank you thank you so much and I hope something like this gets you what you're looking for and looking looking in and looking at me but man I'm taking full advantage of this opportunity, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, uh, I'm taking full, full advantage. All right, calm down, Mercedes. Calm down, I saw you. <laughs> People don't know how to drive around here. Nah, but well, let me see. God damn, man. Oh, honestly, I don't know. Speechless. I'm honestly speechless. This is one of the first times I've ever been at a loss for words. Is it right? Yes, right. Okay. Come on, fam. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm looking at you, what you're doing. Like, you don't see. <laughs> People have good insurance nowadays. <laughs> yeah, they're trying it. They're trying it. <laughs> but, um, Jesus, man. This car has literally left me speechless. But you know what the crazy thing about it is? One thing I really want to give a point across is, despite the fact of how fast this car is, it's not scary. I don't know how it feels on the passenger for you. It's I know you probably wanted to have a heart attack earlier, but I'm not the driver. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I think pretty much every passenger would feel. But I'm not intimidated by this car whatsoever. It feels so composed, and just the fact that it has eye-popping numbers. It puts it all to the ground. Man, mind you, it has really good tires in it. You know, Pilot Sport Cup 2s, Michelins. Tires are the most important thing when it comes to high, high horsepower cars and putting it to the ground. I do not feel like this car is gonna kill me. Granted, I have to control on because I don't have that kind of money, but <laughs> to, to risk it all like that. But uh, there, this car is not intimidating in the least bit. I, again, I'm gonna read it. This is the first time I've ever driven any Corvette, and I I have thrown the keys to the Z06. I've never driven a car over 500 horsepower. Over 500 horsepower. Over 500 horsepower, and I had done 150 more with 150 torque on top of that. But yet, I feel like as if I've been driving this car as long as my car. That's I've never jumped into a car where immediately I felt beyond comfortable. Get into the left lane. And that speaks to the quality of this Z06. For it to be able to exude so much confidence in myself as I left here, 
No, straight, straight. Okay. To be able to do so much confidence in myself to where and when I when I was first giving Keith's car and I thought about it, I was like, Jesus Christ, this car is so fast. I don't know how it's gonna react, how it's gonna feel. But you, you see you see what I'm doing, right? Like I'm I'm chilling. And I'm driving like I stole it. No, I'm not driving like I stole it. <laughs> Guys, knowledge, we, we have a hat at the tank, and look, we've been driving around town, and it's still good on gas. Well, I mean, we've only done, honestly, only done like about 15, 20 miles. How about 15 miles? Mm -hmm. For 650 horsepower, I think that's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's just barely moved the knot. Mm -hmm. So, take that, take that for how you will. Obviously, we've had a lot of fun in here, but again, I can't speak enough of the quality of this car, how much fun it is, how composed it is and how non-intimidating it is, even the fact of how much numbers it, it's shouting at you at the screen and things of that nature. It's hands down the best car I've ever driven. And once again, thank you so much to Barton Chevrolet for the bottom of our for this opportunity. And Samuel, thank you so much for making this video special because we could have done it a lot, but you wanted to make it different. And you wanted to make it special. And again, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. So with that said, this will conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, there's lots more to come. It's your boy Jamabi of Beast and Heart. And again, if you need, if you're looking to a Z06, Martin Chevrolet has extremely good deals on the 2017. Check them out. Hit up Samuel right here in Trans California. Martin Chevrolet. Again, this is Beast and Heart. It's your boy Jamabi. I hope you guys have, hope you guys have a blessed day. Because I, I'll say this was a very, very blessed Thursday. This was a very, very blessed day. September 13th, one of the best days I've ever had. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.